Okay guys, I want to show you what I'm trying to do with my little mining rig. Kind of an experimental hobbyist mining rig setup. Um, I got five NVIDIA cards and I have one uh, little 1660 that I had from about three years ago in the back so I have six cards. I bought four of them. The four to thirty sixties and then uh, about three months ago I bought those or a little a little longer back but uh then I bought another one about a month later, another thirty sixty Ti. So I have six and uh they're running pretty good. Uh, I'm running about 315 mega hash and also I want to mention that uh, most people know, I'm sure you guys do, that these cards really need to be kept clean. I hadn't cleaned them <laughs> for about that three months that I've had them. And I noticed my temperatures were going up, so I decided to take them down and clean them, cleaned them really good, and used a little device, a little brush I had bought, and modified it to go in my cordless drill. But before I cleaned them, my temperatures were like, 60 to 60 well 64 to 65 celsius they were trying to run hot on me and i was like what in the world turning the voltage down and, and all that to try to keep them cool and i said man you just need to clean them so i did i cleaned them real well and now they're running much better and cooler 60 and below some of them run 58, 56 Celsius. So the cleaning is very important. Something I'm going to try to do once a month at least. Keep those cards clean and running smooth. But also, I have a, a 3070 Ti I just ordered. Should be in about Thursday. I'm going to add it in here. This motherboard is a mining motherboard I bought. And I uh, see, I have a 1200 watt power supply. And uh, let's see if I can see which. It's a Biostar motherboard anyway. It'll run, it's supposed to run about eight GPUs on it. So I got six and I get to 3070, I'll put seven on it. I also ordered another 850 watt power supply because this board will actually connect. And I don't know if you can see it. Oh boy, there's dust back in there still. But anyway, it'll run two power supplies on this main board. And um, let's see. Hold on just a second. So we'll see if it'll run seven or eight. It's supposed to run eight. It should run eight video cards. But I bought an extra power supply and a couple more riser cards and things to. I, I bought a splitter too. I may try to run that 3070 off of this 1200 watt power supply that I have on it. But I really don't want to overload it. I did put a watt meter on this setup and uh, of course if you see here it's doing about 770 watts, 71, just from the GPUs, but I put a watt meter on the power going just to this rig, and it's 
I think it's probably about 850, 850 watts from the wall. So when I add the other card, I'll do another reading and see how that goes. Uh, and over on my main computer, I do my CAD work and design work. I run the Hive OS to control that rig, which I could do it on the rig, but I usually keep the monitor turned off on it. So I can set my overclock settings and everything. But anyway, I plan on, I just put this together, bought this frame and put it all together but I plan on building a shed just for my mining rigs and of course you know Ethereum is supposed to go proof of stake and nobody knows what's going to happen and all this might be uh, a waste of time but I enjoy mining and uh, the technology and the, like I said the little 1660 I bought about three years ago and ran it on my main computer over here which has a, uh, I think I got a Quadro, a K2200 Quadro Pro. It's only a four gigabyte car, but it runs my graphics well. And uh, since I do 3D CAD modeling and design, and <laughs> worst come to worst, I'll have six or seven video cards for backup, but not really what I want to do. I'll probably sell some off if mining tanks or goes bad but I'm hoping it doesn't we'll all find out and see but anyway uh, stay tuned I'm gonna make a little video on the brush I created to clean these cards I'm gonna do other videos I'm gonna add the 3070 uh, I also want to do some videos on the overclock settings for these 3060 Ti's and the 1660 if anybody's interested but I found out after the fact I'm new to this needless to say or mention well kind of new I've been watching it for the past three or four years and I've been holding a few coins and done a little trading and made a little money but not nothing to really talk about but anyway um, yeah I enjoy doing this and I'm gonna continue with it and I want to mine right up to uh, the proof of stake of good old Ethereum and see what happens next uh, I mined back when the uh, so Ethereum is up around 19 1900s went a little over 2,000 but I was mining back when it was down around a thousand went under a thousand down to 800 or so I believe past a few months ago but I kept mining because I was hoping it would come back up and it did so well, there you go you never know but we'll see but anyway I want to do overclock setting that's what I want to talk about because when I started the little 1660 back then I was doing raven coin and smaller stuff with the K2200 and the 1660 together and uh, I had to figure all that out back then how to connect the miners to the pools and I'll do some videos on that for the videos on that for the new guys out there like me. Um, do some videos on that for the new guy if anyone's interested. Now the guys that's been doing this for a long time probably laughing and having a ball watching this uh, old man try to do this stuff. But um, yeah, I bought these. 1660 Ti's, they were a pretty good price, I thought, at the time. But, after I got them and running them and the power they were pulling, I was like, man, this is really high. So, 
I um, got to listen to some of the other guys on the other channels about the 3070. The TIs apparently, they, they will do better hash rate, but they will pull a lot more wattage, which cuts into your profitability. So had I known back then, I would have probably bought 3070s or so, because the 3070, from what I'm, uh, I've been researching, it should do about the same as the 3060 Ti, about 60 mega hash, but only pull about 115, 120 watts. Where these are, ain't they're like, uh, I got one running 149, 134. I want to get that 771 down. I'm tempted to sell these 3060s and replace them, but there again, we'll see. I only have about a month. I'll probably run them on your theory as long as it's mineable. And then I did play around with uh, Ergo and Ravencoin. I, I have my uh, some flight sheets set up on Hive OS if I want to jump over there. And I did at one time have them set up where the 5360 were running Ethereum and the 1660 was on Ravencoin. And then I decided to just put one of the 3060s on Ravencoin and run the 30, uh, the 1660 with the 3060s and that worked pretty good. So I got several different setups for when the merge, the Ethereum goes, I'll be ready, maybe. We'll see, <laughs> who knows? But if you don't try, you're certainly gonna fail. I know that's a fact. But anyway, that's about all I want to say now. But yeah, I want to do some videos of overclocking because I had a time finding. If you go to hash, hashrate.no, I believe it is, you can find out some pretty good overclock settings there. And uh, I've tried several different ones, but I'll do a video on it so it save some of you some trouble. Maybe get you going a little quicker. And, uh, but I'm going to go and we'll catch you guys later.